Being fast in Rocket League is essential. Moving quickly around the field can help you beat people to the ball and speed up your rotations. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn around as fast as possible by teaching you how to power slide and half flip turn. They're both vital to learn as they not only help with turning, but also with dribbling, challenging the ball and recoveries. Check out my how to be fast video after watching this to see how you can further utilize the skills you'll learn. First, let me quickly show you the difference between the two and when to use either one. If you're at a standstill, then as you'd expect, half flipping is faster. The gap is only increased when you're reversing. This shows whenever you are at a standstill or are reversing back, you should always use a half flip turn. It gets interesting when you're moving forward. In this drill, I'm driving and turning without using boost and it's basically a draw. Now when you do have boost, and 99% of the time you will, the result is different. Power sliding becomes faster. If you have forward momentum, it's always better to do a power slide turn instead of half flipping. So we know when to use each turn, let's learn how to do them. I'll show you a training pack to test out at the end so you know you're doing them correctly. First up is power sliding. This is relatively easy, but some people don't do it efficiently. The first mistake is holding the power slide button down for too long. This actually slows down your speed. You want to hold it less than half a second. Don't just tap it though as that won't be enough. The second mistake is to do with boosting. You don't want to hold boost at the start of the turn. Instead, start boosting the instant you let go of the power slide button. If you start boosting too early, it just increases your turning radius. Next is the half flip turn. First I'll show you how to do it with normal air roll, then how to do it with air roll left or right. Half flips use flip cancels which are super simple. You flip forwards or backwards and instantly push and hold the analog stick in the opposite direction. Bear in mind you can't cancel side flips, only front and back ones. To do a half flip turn, as soon as you back flip, push and hold your analog stick up. Don't try to turn yet as we'll go through it one step at a time. If you're not getting a clean cancel, then it means you're not pushing your stick straight up and it's going to the side. Once your flip is cancelled, I want you to start holding air roll as soon as you cancel the flip. Get used to holding air roll before moving on to the next step as it will make it a lot easier. Now after your flip cancel and hold air roll, I want you to shift the analog stick to the side. This will turn your car over and you've completed a half flip turn. If your car messes up and lands to the side, it means you need to hold up a little bit longer before moving the stick to the side. Next try this movement while reversing and finally add boost as soon as the flip cancels and you've got the perfect half flip. To do it with directional air roll, it's much easier but I recommend learning both ways so you understand the manoeuvre. Once the flip cancels, you don't need to hold air roll. Instead, all you do is press whatever directional air roll button you're using. You still have to cancel your flip manually, but you don't have to worry about holding air roll and turning over. Now if you're feeling confident with a half flip, I'm going to challenge you to complete my training pack. The first two are simple, but the third shot is really hard. Here's a clip of me doing it because I know you're going to think there's no way that's possible, but it is possible. And comment down below if you're one of the few that manages to save it. Also challenge your friends and see if they can half flip as good as you. If you're struggling with this or any other mechanic, you can join the Discord and I'll be able to help you out. The link will be in the description. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're looking to improve on Rocket League. I release tips videos every week, so make sure you don't miss out. If you're still here to the end, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you in the next video.